Hello and welcome to the Touring Card Challenge. And we're actually uh, able to do the Nick time slot this week on Wednesdays. Uh, so we got Nick in here, we got Gavin in here, <laughs> who's done one total lap. So uh, good luck to him. Uh, I actually did more practice than I normally get to do uh, this time, because I knew I'd be able to participate in this time slot. And uh, I didn't want to completely embarrass myself if possible. So I actually did a full practice race that I didn't record, and uh, tried to learn as much as I could. So uh, did a total a uh, total of two full 30-minute practice sessions before the last race and this race. So more practice than I normally get, and I'm pretty familiar with this track. So my pace is a little bit better than it has been, thanks to all those factors. Still uh, nowhere near winning speed. I think I'm about a full second off the uh, top guys, but I uh, got a nice solid 10th place in my practice race. I mean, I say a nice solid 10th and there was like 14 cars in there, but <laughs> that's good for my standards in this series. It was a uh, nice clean race and uh, hopefully the same can be said about this one too. We'll see. I think uh, I can hold it steady at least and avoid running into anyone. That's always nice. And uh, at the very least I feel somewhat competitive, which is all I can ask for at this point. In the touring cars. Green flag, green flag. Let's uh, see if we can get a nice start. Okay, here comes your first time lap. I've been uh, trying to learn how to get this car around the track a little bit better. That's not how to do it by missing the turn in. But, uh,. I've been trying to be a little more gentle, both on the throttle and the brakes. I think that might help me out a little bit. Not a great lap so far, but um, I'm inconsistent. This is too surprising. Uh, what am I saying? What am I saying? Uh, yes, being more careful with the inputs and the more light switch would be gentle with the everything. Um, that means brake. Be gentle on the brake on the entries on certain times. Sometimes you want to pitch it a little bit. Sometimes it's better to be more gentle. Keep the car steady. I say not being steady. I mean, it's easier said than done. I've got things I'm trying to work on at least. Uh, even if I'm not always succeeding at it. But... I'm also trying to turn in a little bit later on certain corners. Seems to be a better angle to be able to take wider entries and get that run off. And that's been helping my lap times just a little bit at times. And uh, I've been getting some green every once in a while, which is very nice. where I'll stack up in this one, but I'll give it my best and just have a fun race. I think I fully accepted the fact I'm not fast in these cars. And, uh, honestly, when I'm making mistakes, I'm just laughing it off. And, uh, you know what, that's what it's about, just having fun. So, that's what I'm here to do, have some fun. This lap's looking pretty good so far. Can't wait till I have jinxed it. Alright, not the best section there, but still in the green just about a tiny bit. It'll bleed off before we get to the next corner, I bet, though. Hey, I'm hitting some marks. Can't wait to get run over at the start of the race because I'm so slow and inconsistent. Oh boy, this is probably not even good. I got an all-time best here. 
by a, almost two tenths. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Eighth. It's still eighth, but there's gonna be faster people behind me now, I bet. And I don't know if I want that. Oh boy. So what we got? We got 128. F 128 four. My all-time best just then was a 129.3. That pretty much says all you need to know. Uh, let's see. Oh, Nick right... Oh, boy. Rick, <laughs> Nick right next to us. God, I'm about to be called an idiot. Because I make an idiot move, aren't I? Um, and then Gavin, I assume, is probably not qualifying. He seems, seems to uh, choose not to qualify pretty often, so... I'll try not to be an idiot, but if I am, I'll deserve it. <laughs> And, uh, well, hopefully it'll be a good one. We've got, uh, Joe in here. I know he's a viewer of, uh, I think both Nick and Gavin. Um, I don't recognize any other names, though, but I'm sure there's more. There's other guys in here. And, uh, hmm. Sorry, getting a drink. I'm a little bit concerned. I'll be honest. Because I was two tenths up on my all time best. And if I could. Well, I don't know. If I can slot in right between like 10th and 11th, maybe I'll be okay. I'm sure Gavin's gonna climb the ranks though. He's pretty good in these two in cars, it looks like. Based on the races I've seen, he's pretty competitive most of the time. So I can see him making his way up. I'm probably going to fall back pretty good in this race. <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the guy. We got an even better lap up there. 128.3. That's a full second off of the all-time best I just did. That's wild to me. Like, where on earth are they getting all this time? Wish I knew. Not that I'd be able to do anything about it, even if I did know how to do it. I guess I'll just uh, try to be consistent. Try to not run into people. As always. Start can be a little bit uh, scary here. These cars are big and wide. So I'm going to try to give plenty of room. Do, do, do. That's the end of the session. All right. P8. P8. Higher than I should be, probably. Let's see what we can do with it. Hopefully I don't completely mess up the start. I do that a lot, too. These things are hard to get off the grid. It seems like either I'm under-revving it and then crawling off the line, or over-revving it and spinning my tires and crawling off the line. I can't find the happy medium. But we'll try. I even practiced that a little bit in preparation for this race. We'll see how it works out. There. Okay. I know, I know. Revving my engine on the on the grid. I'm trying to see right about where I want to uh, be revving. Got Nick to our left on the back there. He's always got good looking cars. I always just grab something off trading paints, but I like this one I have. It's a nice blue. Hmm. Last, uh, my practice race, I just... Totally spun the tires and had like four people pass me off the grid. Gonna try to avoid that this time. Try is the key word here. I'll probably swing in the opposite direction and under rev it this time. Even after all my practice. No. Shouldn't be too much longer. 30 seconds or until everyone grids up and it looks like most people are here. These races usually feel pretty short, but the last race I did felt like a good length. They're always the same distance, or uh, time, so that's all in my head. Maybe just something about the length of the track and whatever. Is the circuit large? I feel like you should know that before you get in the race, but... Oh boy, awful start again. Okay, Colton, 15 minutes left, that's 15 minutes. Left side. Keep to the right. Much better than my last start. Still not great, though. 
clear, left side. Clear on the left. So far, so good. You can see how cramped it is, though. Tap. I was worried I wasn't even going to make the corner there. Oh, what a jam up. Clear, right side. Keep to the left. Stay on the left. Oh my god. Clear on the right. So stuck. Right side. Keep to the left. Stay on the left. Clear. Oh my god, I stink! I can't do a side by side here. I mean, I just. I can't drive these things. You got a slow car on the left. Car stop the head. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, they didn't hit him. <laughs> oh boy. That wasn't good for the old lap time, though. Believe it or not. I was going to end up back here anyway. Well, I guess we just got to wait for accidents now. My practice race went better. Oh no, Nick! He has gone off as well. I wonder if it was his fault or someone else's. Or neither. I can run on my own for a while and I can somewhat do that. Clearly I can't race side by side, but at least I can somewhat race on my own. You got a slow car on the left. Uh oh. Is this one being messy? Who we got? We got the guy that was in fifth. He's gonna be faster than me. Maybe I can learn something, though. B17, you've just done a 129.71. Sector 1 is... You got through there faster than he did. I wonder if he's got damage. Followed him through the corner there, and it wasn't really even a good path to follow. Might have to get by this guy. Fake to the inside, he was unfazed though. That lap was at 130.01. Okay, Colton, 10 minutes to go. That's 10 hmm. minutes left. This really is See good Gavin up there in 14. It's a good five seconds ahead. Nice if I shifted. Got 
Drink our turn. Wasting a lot of time here. Get your elbows out and force the pass. Wasting a lot of time here. Good one. I think I'm going much faster even if I'm not behind someone. Best corner there. Catching up to this 18. Oh, that's not an off track. Come on. We've been warned about track limits. Boo. Alright, maybe I cut it a tiny bit. I still think it's Bogus. Lame. Don't agree. Hurt a little bit too much there. Oh, that's gonna be a dive. That's gonna be a spin out. Car stopped on the right. Slow car ahead. Go right. Car on your left. Whoa! That was a weird corner. Clear on the left. I had to hit my brakes a couple of times up to this point. I wonder if that guy's got damage now. If he didn't already. Well, this this race has been a, a lot messier than my practice race, I will say that. Um, my practice race, there are hardly any crashes. Here we've got a couple of guys going off and having trouble. That's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. The leader's just done a 128.164. Stay on the track. Alright, so Nick is the one behind us now. We were maintaining P14. distance before, but got a little closer after that accident. E14. Alright, so we've made our way forward a little bit. Just trying to hit my marks. I mess up that corner so often. I, fe I feel like I take it differently every every lap. That's not a that's not how to be consistent. That's pretty good though. That little section. Gavin has pulled away a little bit more. It looks like, um, but again, that uh, other incident we had to avoid. That uh, he did not have to contend with. It's been an adventurous race. I'll give it that. Then we got left. Still got five and a half minutes. Your last lap time was a uh, fun. So long as I feel like I can actually drive this thing to a certain extent, I am A-OK. -okay. It's whenever I'm just completely off pace and I don't know what's going on and I can't get around a single corner. That's when it's kind of a slog to get through, but I feel like I can at least wheel the thing a little bit. And that makes it much more fun. Nick is catching us, I think. We are gonna have to go, go, go.
Seems like the gap uh, up to Gavin is maintaining around the same. Certainly don't have enough time to catch him before this thing's over. Gomez is leading the race. Ooh. Herb there. <laughs> uh, Nick might catch me, especially if I end up making a mistake, which is very possible. That last lap was at 130.00. Ooh, that was a good turn, though. I feel like my inconsistency is uh, illustrated very well by my optimal and how uh, how much lower of a lap time it is compared to uh, my all-time best. Sorry, I was trying to focus through that corner and I still messed it up and I didn't shift. I am a mess. Uh, it's like almost a like almost a full second. Faster than my uh, all, my uh, all-time best, so so I'm really focused. I really would like to keep this spot if possible. So next uh, area of focus, I guess, is going to have to be driving side by side because I certainly didn't do that right this time. Or that cur that corner. I didn't do that right this time either. I have a lot to work on in this car. Let's leave it at that. I feel like I could probably spend more off throttle time too. Let it roll a little bit more. That probably served me well. Like three tenths on my optimal there on that corner. I don't know. I just no consistency, man. Probably coming into the white flag here soon. If not this lap, then the next. I like I hit that right, but I guess I underdrove it a little bit. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. Uh oh, I think. Whoa! What happened to Nick? Nick crashed. Oh no! I wonder what happened. B twelve. That's a bummer. All right, so this wasn't the last lap. But uh, that means next lap definitely will be. Uh oh, someone's calling someone a bad name. What happened there? I wonder if we're gonna get some free spots here soon. They might have already towed, so we might not even see it. Oh wait, no, we're in 12th now. We were in 14th, so we did already get the spots. Sweet! Unearned spots. Hooray! <laughs> I think I'm just a tiny itty bitty bitty bit faster than Gavin, but nowhere near enough to reach him. So we were gaining just a little bit, but not nearly enough. Because we've got it down in the fours now. Last lap. <laughs> a 
last lap. White flag, one more lap. See him up there. Oh, I can see me breaking, missing my breaking point too. It's a weird way to take that corner and a way to get an off track on the last lap. Well done, <laughs> me. Unnecessary incidents. I like this section. I feel like I can go like kind of fast through there. It's kind of fun. It's a fun section to drive. So it looks like, unless there uh, have been or will be any more incidents, into this lap, looks like we will be coming in P12, which is perfectly fine with me. All right, that's that. You got a play car on the right. That's the end of the race. Never mind. All right, there's Woo. ticket flag. Better schedule some testing. We'll get them next time. And park it. I'm okay with that. Not as good as what my I rating says I should do, but that's about where I expect to finish. If not uh, better than what I expect to finish in this car. So, all right, 4x is what it is get a couple of contacts and things and i had to slam on the brakes a couple times for uh guys crashing so uh let's see incidents out there yeah send a message to yeah good let's see well, I didn't race with them. Uh, glad I can make it. How should I word this? I don't know. I'm not going to say anything. I'm too awkward. Let me uh, <laughs> just watch the incidents. I'll reply if they say anything. They're busy doing their videos anyway. So this was lap one. Green gets uh, behind them a little bit. I think they, uh, the number four there kind of pitched it, maybe. Oh, Joe off a little bit. That's probably what I looked like. Sands the spin. Oh, yeah, there's a... <laughs> oh, boy. That was not well handled by me. <laughs> Let me see. Like, I should have been able to get around him better. <laughs> so... You go like from my view, and uh, I think I heard like slow car on the left or whatever, but I'm coming around the corner and I don't see it until then, and I'm like, Ooh. <laughs> that was a butt clinch moment if there ever was one. Let's go back to a uh, normal view. Oh, here's what happened to Nick. Oh, he's not going to be happy about that one. I sure wouldn't be. Who done it? Why you do this? Just gets absolutely plowed. He might not even upload this one since this was lap two. He got taken out. So not a very good job by the 10 there. And uh, now Nick's all the way on the other, he's on the other layout. So it rejoins safely. So he knows how to drive safely. Actually, uh, before we look at this, I guess I can't. So, uh, I um, just want to see uh, how I messed up. Good to know I'm not going to show up on the incident port at, report at least. It's my nonsense. So going side by side. 
I just, uh, I messed it up. <laughs> I entered too hard. Uh, I should have seen him backing off and knew I could take my normal line. Should have cut down. But I assumed he was going to be next to me. And so I didn't cut in like I normally would. And I didn't slow down enough to uh, do this how I should have. So, uh, ended up off the course. Thankfully I got back on pretty quickly. The thing that lost me all, all the time was getting stuck behind uh, the couple of wrecks. But I still finished in a spot where I'm okay with, so. In fact, my mistake was before Joe was here. Yeah, that's right, it happened just after. <laughs> that still makes me cringe every time I look at that. Um, Nick gets taken out. This guy hits the grass. Okay, we're back. We're back on track. Kind of like I got back on track. Literally. That guy's off track. Is this going to be Tire Barrier? Ooh, just a tiny bit. Could have been much worse. Oh, wow. They really missed their breaking point there. This corner has been rough on people. Oh, I remember this one. I knew this guy was going to slide back on track, so I uh, was prepared to slow down. Thankfully, he uh, is able to get out of the way real quick. So that one I saw coming, and I was able to prepare and not uh, have quite as close of a moment. Because I knew his momentum was going to carry him there, and I just had to wait for this to clear up a little bit. Not much I can do about that. Uh, but that gets us uh, a couple free spots again. Oh, that's not the first time that green car's run into the back of uh, that guy either. Puts himself into the grass. Is he uh, penalizing himself for running into the guy? Maybe he is. Let my mom by. So this is the guy that took out Nick. And he just he <laughs> takes out another person because he's driving off into the other guy's lane. Look how much room he has over here. No reason to make it that tight. So at least that takes him out. <laughs> Loses all the tires. Bye bye. The tires faster than he is. Oof. Oh no. This is what happened to Nick. Did his tire come off? Oh no. If his tire didn't come off, then it broke his car. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure the tire actually came off or if that was prediction, but it definitely broke his car. So I'm not so sure Nick's going to be uploading this one. He might give it another attempt. But that's uh, obviously up to him. What is Joe doing? <laughs> He's taking the... Foster's Reverse. <laughs> the short track. That's very funny. He's just messing around after the race is over. Woo! I saw a guy do that during the actual race once, during uh, the production car challenge, and it was very funny. E.T. phoning home. Oh, that'll buff, our, uh, that'll buff right out. You're good. Rub some dirt in it. Alright, so that's it. Uh, we finished. P12. Um, because of uh, some incidents and crashes, we are able to finish ahead of Nick. But uh, not really on speed, probably. Just a uh, little bit of luck, not to get caught up uh, by guys that don't know how to hit the breaking points. And uh, just one spot behind Gavin. It was a fun race for what it was. I wasn't fast, but when am I in this car? So I had fun. Uh, Nick probably didn't have fun. Hopefully Gavin still had fun despite, uh, despite finishing 11th. I'm not sure. I don't think I ever saw him on the incidents. I'm not sure if he ever got any, uh, into any trouble, but he might have, might have gotten hung up uh, crashing people. Who knows? I'll find out when I watch his perspective, and I encourage you uh, to watch his as well, and Nick's if he decides to uh, upload that, because uh, it's always fun to see different perspectives on races, because it's like a whole different experience. So uh, that's it for me. That's all I got. Thanks for watching me uh, be slow, <laughs> and uh, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.